We're going to review how to print using your Robo R2 or Robo C2 Smart 3D printer with Wi-Fi using a Microsoft Surface Studio desktop computer. Keep in mind that the process we'll go through is the same for both printers. Okay, let's get started. First, make sure your Robo 3D printer and your Microsoft Surface Studio computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Whether you're printing a file that you've personally designed or one that you found online and downloaded, the following steps will get you up and making fast. If you opt to create your own design, using Microsoft 3D Builder is a great way to fine tune your 3D model before you print it from your Robo 3D printer. Once you've completed the design process, save your 3D model as a STL file. Notice that you have the option to print via USB or Wi-Fi. If you want to print via Wi-Fi, you'll need the unique IP address for your Robo 3D printer. You can find the IP address by going to the touch screen on your printer and selecting Utilities, Network, then Network Status. Now, open another tab in your browser and type in the IP address. The printer should immediately connect to the Robo OctoPrint server. Upload the file into the OctoPrint software. The slicing profiles will automatically open after the file has finished uploading. Go ahead and select your desired settings. And remember, you can always opt to start your print after your file is done splicing. To complete this step, select Slice. The file will now be sent to your Robo C2 or Robo R2 and begin printing. This process is a little different when you want to print a downloaded file. In this case, go to the 3D Marketplace and find the file you want to print. Then download the file. Next, open the file using your free Cura software. This software also lets you modify the design. Notice that you have the option to change your print settings or add supports. After you've made your selection, go ahead and select Save to File. If you want to print via USB, save the file onto a USB drive and safely eject it from the computer. Then insert it into the USB port on your Robo 3D printer. Now find the file you want to print and select it. Press Start to begin printing. Once the print is complete, safely remove it from your Robo 3D printer and you're all set. If you ever have questions or need help with Robo C2 or Robo R2, our industry leading customer support team is always available, day or night. Contact us by phone or email. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy making.